This was the result of an ingrown hair. This person attempted to remove an ingrown hair from the inside of their groin and ended up developing an infection that spread throughout their entire body. They ended up going into a persistent comatose state. In order for a person to be considered brain dead, they must meet three requirements. Number one is being in a persistent comatose state where you do not respond to any sort of painful stimulus. Things like nail bed pressure, sternal rubs, or even pressure on the orbital rim. Number two is having absent brainstem reflexes. Things like the pupillary light reflex, the oculocephalic reflex, cough and gag reflexes as well. And number three is a lack of spontaneous breathing. If the person is unable to initiate breaths on their own, then they are considered to be apneic. And if a person meets all three of these criteria, they are considered to be brain dead and legally deceased in the United States. However, in any situation of ambiguity, we can perform ancillary testing. This includes things like an EEG to look at the brain waves. Another test would be a transcranial Doppler ultrasound and also a diagnostic cerebral angiogram. And of course, there are several other tests that can be done too. As doctors, we do our best to take all this information and determine whether or not somebody has any meaningful brain activity. And if there is truly no brain activity whatsoever, then we refer to that person as brain dead.